This is Adam again uh, with Lizard Wraps, Jackson, New Jersey. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys uh, working with gradients, uh, how we do it here. Um, it's pretty easy. Uh, we're going to just do some uh, gradients with some glow in it, like this one here. Uh, appreciate it after you watch the video. If you can follow us, I would appreciate it. Add us to your favorites. Uh, it helps out over here. Okay. Uh, right here we're working with Flexi 12. So basically when you open up your Flexi, you'll see a couple different gradients here. Um, what we usually do is if we want to put make a new gradient, what we'll do is usually we'll start out, we'll just draw a box. Okay. Let me just show you here first. Let's delete that. Okay. So right here in your fill, we're going to start out with black. Okay. So we'll just draw a box. Pretty easy. Okay. And we're going to click on a box and just pick one of your fills. It's the easiest way to do it. I mean, you can go up here to the fill stroke editor and go down and then type in quick gradient. You could do it that way. But the easier way we do it is we just pick one out. Uh, we'll just say here this gray one right here. So you click on the box, click on the gray, and that's it. Okay. Now we're going to want to, what I want to do today is maybe make a blue with, um, that fades to maybe a white, uh, has a glow in the middle, and then maybe like a dark blue on the bottom. It's pretty easy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the box, which is already got the gradient in it. I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to go to the fill stroke editor. Pull the fill stroke editor up. Okay, we're already on gradient fill. Okay, well, we're going to start working with this fill. Okay, we're going to hit the advanced key. Okay. Now with the advanced key, it shows you that this object right here starts out light and goes to dark. Okay. And as you can see, this fill in the advanced setting is only one color that goes to another color. I don't want that. I want to add to it. So we're going to click in the box here, and then we're going to click again. And what that does is that can add another color for you. Okay. So back here. I'm going to make it dark. So I want to start here. I'm going to make it black. You got to make sure you always use the same one. Like here we have uh, straight black, black RGB. I like to use the RGB for the nice and dark. So I'll say RGB here. And in the middle, I'm going to make it white. And at the end, make sure I use the same black. So I'm going to go down. And I'm going to hit the RGB again. Okay. Now if I do that, what's going to happen? is you're going to get a, a light line in the middle. Okay. Now, I'm just going to show you a few things here. If you click right here to edit the gradient, I want the line going the other way. So you can take this, go up to the top, take this one, go to the bottom. I mean, you can always type the value in here, like this. You can type whatever you want to get it. Like here, this would be 270. That'll give you the line. Just move it over a little bit. That gives you a straight line right across. Okay, now you can also, in here, go to the Advanced tab. By clicking the Advanced tab, it's going to give you more functions. Okay, in here, a radial. You can do a radial gradient. Click on the radial. Click on here. Okay. Now that'll give you a radial. You can click this here. It'll make it taller. Make it smaller. Bring this down. Bring this up. Me personally, we don't really use that type, so we'll go back to the advanced key. And we'll click here for linear, because that's what we use for linear. And you press OK and give you a linear thing. Okay. Now, what we want to do here is we're going to go back to the advanced key, move it back over. Okay. Now, I have this set from white. to black, to left, okay, to white in the middle. Now what I'm going to do 
here is I want to get a little bit more gray in this area. Okay, so I'm going to click again in here and on this side, and now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to find a gray I like. back up and say edit the gradient. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, now you can see I have a deeper glow in the middle now. It's less dramatic going from the black to the white. It fades better. Okay, so now I have that gradient. Now what I want to do is I want to save this gradient. So you're going to go back into the main key, and then you're going to add it to your swatch table. Just click this right here, and then we're going to call it something new. And then we're going to click OK. As soon as you do that, it's going to ask you what table you want to put it in. I like to save it into my new table. Press OK. And there it is, right there. So now, any type I want to use it, it'll be in my table. Okay, so basically, I'll just find it in my table, go down, make a gray fade. cherry, they're all here. So you can just follow along and you'll find the one you want. And you just click on it and it'll go right into your table. It's very simple. Uh, one that we like here is the, uh, I just recently made this one here. You see this has a glow in it, very dark glow with a line. Um, double click on it and go up into your fill stroke editor you can see, I go into my advanced tab and you can see how I built this. I started dark, I went into a burgundy, I went to a red, back to a burgundy, back to a dark, and then into a black. Okay, and then you can go in here, like I said, if you want, you can also make changes to this gradient without saving it. So you'll go in here, and then you'll go to your, back to your fill stroke editor. you want to use it for your lettering you can either there's two ways to do it I'm going to show you both ways one is you can take the letter put it in the middle make sure the gradients in the back highlight both of them effects mask and do it that way Or you can just leave it and you can grab it from your table. If you grab it from your table, you can also modify the gradient if you need to. So the way we like to do it here is we will type out the graphics or the lettering or whatever we need to do and then we'll put the gradient behind it and mask it. Uh, that way, if we want to add other colors to it or whatnot, we're not really taking away from the gradient. Okay, we're going to leave the gradient alone. Uh, basically like locked in there okay uh, with this one here no matter what you do to this letter it's not going to move the center of the gradient around okay when you mask it I'm going to 
effects mask. editor and move it this way or we find it easier just to mask it it makes things a lot easier okay and then we can just take the letter once you have the gradient on top of it and then put everything in a little bit more outline around it that's it you're ready to go and like I said if you can subscribe to our channel we're gonna have a lot more videos out and a lot more complicated stuff, a lot easier stuff. Um, if anybody has any questions of things they need to do, uh, we have a vinyl cutter, which is a value cut, and we have a value jet printer 1624 also. If you need help setting up your machines, or if you uh, have problems contour cutting or advanced contour cutting, uh, just leave a message for us, and we'll help you out. We'll put a video up for you. Uh, appreciate your time. If you can subscribe, we would really appreciate it. Thank you. Take care.